Hello everyone, welcome again to Discrete Mathematics with me Adila Krishnadi. Uh, this time we will talk about bipartite graphs. Um, so here are the references and acknowledgements. So um, consider a following problem. So in this problem you are given four employees uh, and their respective expertise. Um, so the four employees are Andy, Benny, Chita, and Desi, and then their the rest the expertise of Andy is requirement analysis and testing, and then Benny is has expertise in architecture design implementation and testing, and so on. So Chita also uh, has her own uh, expertise as well as Desi. Now suppose these four employees are asked to finish. A project where they need to complete four tasks namely requirement analysis uh, architecture design implementation and testing now the question is how can we assign tasks to each of the employees to finish the project so that each task is assigned to exactly one employee and no employee is given more than one task so really there is exactly one-to-one -one correspondence between the employee and the task of course Implicitly, we so of course the the, the, the the also the other condition is that the employee must be given a task corresponding to their expertise. Or so, so for example, Andy should not be given a task of implementation because that's not his expertise. So this problem is called a matching problem. So finding an assignment of workers to tasks so that no two workers share the same task and no worker is assigned more than one task. So matching is essentially a set of worker task pairs such that, well, the pairs do not share, uh, you know, the same elements. Yeah. Now, this could be uh, uh, also modeled in undirected graph in general, where you, sim you simply assign nodes to their proper neighbors so that no two nodes are matched to the same node match meaning that they are adjacent uh, matching problem however is easier to solve in bipartite graph so this we will this is our the focus of our video uh, now we will consider of some variants of matching problems including maximum matching and complete matching um, so let's solve with bipartite graphs first so a graph an undirected graph G is bipartite if and only if the set of nodes V can be partitioned into two yeah V1 and V2 so that is V is V1 union V2 yeah and also V1 intersection with V2 is empty so they don't have uh, so their intersection is empty so that the other condition is that every edge in E con uh, one endpoint of it is in V1 and the other endpoint is in V2. So essentially if you have uh, an edge E here yeah this must be in V1 and this must be in V2 yeah for each edge yeah now of course v1 and v2 must not be empty because they form a partition yeah and then because they are disjoint so this is a uh, they are disjoint uh, uh, the bipartite graph would contain no edge that connects uh, two nodes in the same uh, partition so for example you cannot have a node this node and this node belonging to V1 or this nodes and this nodes belonging to V2. So they must belong to different partition. Um, uh, in particular, of course, G cannot contain loops. Yeah. Now this, the set V1 and V2 is called bipartition. And if, uh, if, um, if every two nodes in the bipartition are adjacent so every u1 and u2 in the different in v1 and v2 are adjacent then we will call g complete bipartite yeah um, 
So complete buffer tied with uh, M nodes in V1 and N nodes in V2 will be denoted by K M comma N. So here is an example. So of two examples actually. Um, the left, the graph on the left, what contains this node, the set of nodes, right? A, B, C, D, and E. Can we partition this into two? So that the edge, the edges only connect, uh, are only between these two partitions. So, well, if you look at this, you observe, observe, observe this graph for a moment, you will find that uh, this is one partition. So, a, uh, a m must be in the same partition as D and, and sorry, A, A, C and D, and then the other partition is B and E. So you see, for example, the edge, you have this edge, right? A comma B, yeah, we have edge uh, B comma C, B comma D, as well as, well as D comma E. So this edge, they connect like this, yeah? And this, yeah. So, so in fact, you could draw the graph this way, yeah. So this is A, C, and D, and then B, B and E, and you have a note here. You have an edge here. You have an edge here. You have an edge here, and you also have an edge here. Sorry. Uh, not this one. I should make it, but rather uh, from D to E. Yeah. So if we could make the graph look like this, then yes, uh, it is bipartite. How about the the, uh, the second? Well, so before we continue with the second graph, well, is this graph complete? No, not complete. Not complete. Bipartite. Why? Well, in order for a bipartite graph to be a complete one, you must also have this and this. Yeah. So that will be a complete bipartite. Yeah. Otherwise, it's not. Yeah. So, uh, how about the second graph? So, is this graph bipartite? So, you have the set A, B, C, D, E, F, and G. Um, so let's try uh, uh, rearrange this, right? So if you have A in one partition, then B must be in the other partition, right? Now, how about, because B is the, in this partition, then C and G must be here, right? Also, F must be in different partition than A, yeah, because, well, uh, a is a neighbor of, or F is a neighbor, proper neighbor of A. Now, if F is in this partition, then E must be in this partition, right? So, and then uh, on the other hand, because uh, B, uh, sorry, C is in the partition, then D must be here. But if you look at this pair, yeah, uh, well, you cannot, right? Because G, but because this means G and E must be in the same partition, but here you see G and E are neighbors. So therefore, they must be in different partitions, so it is impossible. Yeah. So you see, in any way you uh, we, we try to uh, rearrange this, this graph won't be, won't be, this graph won't satisfy the bipartite condition, so therefore, this is not a bipartite graph. Um, of course, um, if the graph is big with many nodes, then you it might be rather difficult to 
do this but we will see a, a general way to determine whether a graph is bipartite or not so but before that let's see some examples of complete bipartite so here is an example of k2 comma 3 so uh, say this is a and b and then c d and e so this is k2 comma 3 so the complete bipartite will have this this and this and then this this and this yeah how about k3 comma 5 well well it should be straightforward uh which is this one uh Uh, and then and then of course this one is a complete bipartite graph so this is k 3,5 right so that's uh, two examples of complete bipartite graphs. So let's do some exercise now uh, uh, before we uh, come up with general procedure to uh, determine whether a graph is bipartite or not. So um, the question is, is the three-dimensional hypercube Q3 bipartite? And then what about Qn, the n-dimensional hypercubes? Well, try to solve this first. And then um, uh, we discuss the solution in the next video.